Well, hello there. It's great to see all of you. We're celebrating this whole month here at Pixels To Go, and the reason is simple. What are we celebrating? Right, Christmas. Christmas means celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. We talked last week about the hope we can have because God kept his promise to send Jesus. Now, I don't know about you, but during this time of year, I have so much joy when I think about Christmas Day and what it will be like. I get like super joyful when I think about celebrating with my family and my friends. Hello everyone. Welcome to our very special old timey version of the story of Mary. I'm so excited to tell you about it. You might even say that I am experiencing quite a bit of joy. Hit it Andy! Yes, so much joy, but Mary's story didn't exactly start out with joy. It began with Mary wondering what in the world was going on. You see, Mary was an ordinary girl from an ordinary town called Nazareth. She would have grown up learning the Jewish scriptures, so she would have known that God had promised to send a savior one day. But I don't think she ever imagined how God's plan would involve her. Now, at the time of our story, Mary was engaged to a carpenter named Joseph. Mary and Joseph probably expected their lives to follow an ordinary path. But one day, everything changed. Suddenly, Mary found herself at the very center of God's plan for all people, for all time. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary. He told Mary that God had a big plan for her. He said this, the Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Mary was very upset and, and must have looked terrified because Gabriel said, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. This news was a lot for Mary to take in. She was going to have a son, the son of God, and he would be the long-awaited savior who God had promised his people hundreds of years earlier. Gabriel also told her something else. Your relative Elizabeth will have a child even though she is old. People thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. That's because what God says will always come true. Mary must have felt scared and confused, but her answer to the angel was full of faith and courage. She told him, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Then Gabriel left and Mary was amazed at what the angel had said. Not only was she going to have a baby, God's son, but her older relative Elizabeth was going to have a baby too. It seemed impossible. Mary hurried to visit Elizabeth. Listen to what Elizabeth said to Mary when she arrived. God has blessed you more than other women, and blessed is the child you will have. As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed that the Lord would keep his promises to you. Whoa, did you hear that? Elizabeth's baby jumped in her belly when he heard Mary's voice. Mary was so filled with joy that she sang a song to God. Here's what Mary said. My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God, my savior. He has taken note of me even though I am not considered important. He shows his mercy to those who have respect for him. He has filled with good things those who are hungry. He has helped the people of Israel who serve him. He has done it just as he promised to our people of long ago. Mary realized that God was doing what he had promised long ago, and he had chosen her to be a part of it. At the end of three months, Mary returned home to Nazareth, ready to see how God's plan would unfold. Mary understood that God had a plan and a purpose for her life, and that gave her great joy. God has a plan for each and every one of us too. You can have joy because God has a plan for you. Let's pray and thank God for the joy he gives us. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior. We can see how Mary trusted your plan and you filled her heart with joy. 
thank you for reminding us that you have a good plan for our lives too. Help us to find our joy in you because your plans are always good. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, you know what I love about that story? I love how God had a plan for Mary and for Elizabeth too. The truth is, God has a good plan for each and every one of us. You can have joy because God has a plan for you. I mean, it must have been pretty shocking for Mary when she heard the news from the angel. She never could have imagined that she would be the one to give birth to the Savior of the world. But while she didn't fully understand how everything would work out, Mary trusted God. She believed that God had a good plan for her life. We can trust God too. We can trust Him no matter what. That's how we find joy. Real joy comes from knowing that God has a plan for you. Even when things happen that you don't expect, you can find joy in knowing that God is with you and He's working toward that good plan that He has for you. God's plan to send Jesus to be Mary's son was part of His good plan for your life too. God sent Jesus to rescue you because He loves you so much. We have a great way to remember that with our memory verse for this month. Luke 2 verse 11. Would you say it with me? Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Right. We know that Jesus came to be our Savior. That's why we celebrate Christmas. That's why we can have joy. You can always have joy when you remember that God has a good plan for your life. Before we go, I wanted to invite you again to participate in this year's Angel Tree. We are partnering with Uprising Ministries to help provide toys for children right here in our neighborhood. There's a tree set up in the back of the sanctuary with names and ages of kids who won't have a very exciting Christmas unless we step in and provide them some toys. If you would like to pick up an ornament off the tree, stop by the church anytime this week. Or you can drop me a line and I can pull one for you. My email is chris at the square.org. We just need those gifts back really soon so we can get them delivered in time for Christmas. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you back here next time.